I'm actually gonna buy a Hublot in this video, so stay on this video. This is this time not clickbait, I swear. Watch the end of the video. I am gonna buy a Hublot of two losers. It actually breaks my heart. Nice shirt change. Right, I love it. Red dresses me well. Right, I need to call HSBC because some mad bastard, someone has stolen 30 grand of our money. They've done that via direct debit. Really random numbers. Pride and Pinion has taken 24,054 pounds and 18p off Pride and Pinion. They also took 45, they also took 197 and 1762. Pride and Pinion took from Pride and Pinion. How does that work? So now I need to call the fraud services of HSBC. It's been a long time ago that HSBC featured on our channel. No, I can't pay my stuff because I can't log in because you guys keep in my business. I lost 7,000 pounds today, big man. F***ing shit, f***ing cuts. I am done with this. Oh, now I need a new phone as well. Hi there, good afternoon. My name is Nico Leonard van der Horst. We've been speaking with you guys a few times regarding four suspicious transactions coming out of our account. And I would like to have an update from this. You guys are supposed to update us on Friday, which I haven't received an update yet. This has been uh, reported earlier. Yes, it has been reported several times. And it's so bad that I have an email here stating that we would get an answer on Friday. And it's literally Nico. here. Relationship managers have her phone number here as well. I can call her direct as well. So I, I actually need to call instead of yourself, I think. Appreciate your help very much. Banks are a nightmare. Probably someone has started a payment merchant with our name, took money off our bank account. We didn't notice it until later. Like this is the dangers you now have to worry about. You don't know how criminals take money off your account because we send out invoices, they have our account details, they Someone set up a direct debit and just withdraw money off our account. First a small amount, then a larger amount, then a very large amount. Like it's a disgrace. After this, I need to, I want to check up on the team, how they're doing, how the watch sales is going. I've seen a good few orders going through today, which is brilliant. We're still selling loads of watches, which is amazing. And we need to find someone in Northern Ireland who can build podcast setups. See this part of the studio? I want to build a podcast studio here. Like where we're just doing outrageous shit. So if there's anyone who knows anything about building sets, give us a buzz because we need some help. Any watches here? No? Who owns this? Just sold it. So Graham just sold this incredible AP offshore. It's Huge, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, huge. Huge. For Gavin, another disabled GMT. We love these at the minute. Yeah, just we have flying through the office. <laughs> like I don't know how this is possible, but this is our best-selling <laughs> GMT, isn't it? The disabled GMT. <laughs> Saw another one being photographed. Yes, last week. A few were sold. Now, nice Explorer. I like that. Just the new Explorer as well. I love the Explorer. I just love it. I love the, this is my favorite version as well, the Polar Doll, orange hand. Whenever the 50th anniversary of the Explorer was, I was hoping that they were doing something crazy with this watch, like a ceramic bezel or something, but they just kept it exactly the same as they have been doing it for many years prior to that. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, but it should have had a, they genuinely should have had a ceramic bezel. Here we have a Bretling Super Ocean a Rolex Datejust. And the other nice watches have arrived today. Tomorrow should be a 007 bomb set arriving on a 50th anniversary Snoopy. Very nice, I like that. Hi right, Johnny, there's a few things here. We bought 10 watch boxes, 10 Rolex watch boxes from a new source and they turn out to be fake. We need to burn them. Sometimes watches do arrive without boxes and we want to make sure that when we sell the watch, the watch comes with a box, etc. right? We sometimes therefore buy boxes from external parties. We also buy boxes from Alfrey's dealers, to be honest. Can't talk about that too much. Now we bought a batch of boxes from a new source and they're fake. Like, look at that. So you see what we do with these boxes? We just do this. <laughs> we f destroy them. I don't want fake boxes in my business. What was wrong with it? Everything. Yeah, this is not a real Rolex box. Like this is a real Rolex box. You see the wood? Yeah, that's so You see the yeah. aging? You feel this? Look at, the, look at that compared. Yeah. How f is that? So this is a proper Rolex watch box, this one, right? Everything is just good on this, right? Yeah. And then you get this sh but we bought them and uh, now we're stuck with it. Some lucky customers get a fake box. F off. <laughs> no, no, no. We Listen, it's very important that we verify everything what we do. Everything that we do, we double check and we don't sell this. Sh There's one thing I want to show you. That is the new IFL watch. The new drop by IFL watches. How insane is that? It's just there to be photographed, as you can see. This is all hand painted, proper artwork. This is insane. Every single watch is hand painted. Proper artist on this. The NATO strap as well is 
different. I love it. I've been wearing it for a couple of days. This is IFL's new limited edition deep sea diver. It gets from light to darker. It's a bit like Rolex deep sea type of style. I think it's cool but the fact that every diver on every single watch is different because it's all painted by hand i absolutely love the fact it's on a strap this is their best work yet it's actually like artwork more than anything this is a proper hard work these one will go fast because normally they do a limited run of 200 pieces but because this is so difficult to make they've only made 100 pieces so this one will go fast like proper god there first link in the description make sure you do not miss out because this drop only has 100 pieces right it's time to buy a hoop Blow, Johnny. Can I go for a pish first? I need to pish like a racehorse. Can I go quickly first? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Oh, that's a relief. Johnny, I forgot to put my watch on. I literally left my watch here before I went to nursery. The Autumn I... RPK Royal Oak, reference number 26331ST. Exactly. Chronograph. These guys, these losers, actually need our help. Who think it was the daddy back in the day, but today they're just a bunch of bosh dudes that want to make a ton of money but they collaborate with watch brands and this time they collaborate with hublot right look at that and it literally says on the dial not for resale this is a funny joke to the actual service hublot when you put your watch for service you were given a watch that you can wear in the meantime it's a clever and it's a good move from hublot but on the dial it said not for sale now here they put it up not for resale right just as a joke ha 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 who wants to resell that watch anyway because no one wants to buy that thing in the first place so normally all these collab watches always sell out bar this one and i can't even believe that i'm spending eight thousand dollars on a piece of shit. i'm actually spending more because i'm gonna have to be paying import tax on this as well because it's coming from america this is a disgrace i'm gonna buy it so you don't have to and we're gonna abuse this watch like you've never seen before the end goal of this is of course destroy this watch altogether but because this watch cost me eight thousand dollars i do want to make a good few videos with this including all sorts of abuse <laughs> sing stuff Houdinki does, does all these collaborations, including with John Mayer. John Mayer is, by the way, shareholder of Houdinki, so yeah. Houdinki was founded by Ben Clymer, an absolute incredible guy in the industry, right? Until he became a kind of a wee bit of a sellout. There's nothing wrong in doing commercial stuff, by the way. But they became a cash guy of posh people. Basically, Houdinki thinks that they're above anyone else in this industry now. Let's check this caliber. Ah, look at this. You see here? This is the movement, right? HUB1110, right? You see that? And we go here, and we place that in watch base. HUB, oh, it's based on the Salida SW300. What else is powered by the Salida SW300? Let's have a look. Bon Marche, Bon Ross. They're all thousand pounds watches, mate. They're all <laughs> 1500 quid watches. Like this is the cheapest movement nearly in the world. It is very reliable, it's a very good movement, but it's cheap and they're selling for $8,000 on a wee rubber strap. It's a disgrace shipping free oh free shipping that's so nice thanks to Dinky. oh you know that they tried to sell a f clock like a f desk clock for like a couple of grand who blew or who dinky a who dinky f Egypt. pay now six thousand one hundred eight i just paid that was quick did your payment details can't be verified i think it literally says minus are they scamming me for my money now is that another payment three what <laughs> that's a disgrace yeah they took Nah, this is this is the scumbags of Houdinki. Look at that. Houdinki 6154. Twice. And it says here payments can't be verified. Ah, oh, this one is more time. what the f is going on here? Oh yeah, there's one one already returned, I think. Yeah, this one. So I just paid this with American Express, racking the points, wire myself the money, and pay it off. Yeah. Do that. Do that. I'll do that. Honestly, if they f me over this time, I'm gonna absolutely do them in the bum. Right, your order has been processed. It says thank you. Thank you, Nico. That's good. Look at this. I literally bought a watch from the two biggest losers in the industry. Stay tuned for the vlogs. You're gonna see this Hublot being delivered and what I'm gonna do with it.